Look, y'all. I found my brace. I found my brace. Boom. Green beans. I have three in this planter. This is sun gold. She's pretty happy. Oh, I see the flowers. I see the first flowers. Come through, bitch. First lane that has seeded itself in, in the soil and also a uh, random viola, but the violas are gonna be, of course, in the corner here, in both corners. Uh, this is uh, mustard green, I believe. Planted a whole new set of shit right here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I have a couple of sugar beets that I'm waiting to pop up. Oh, bitch, there's one. There's one. That's a sugar beet, y'all. This is Crimberly. Hey, Crim. How you doing, girl? She looks like she's not gonna get too, too big, so I probably won't even have to stake her like I thought I was going to have to. So I can keep all the stakes for my trees like the Jamaican cherry these two tender red green beans this one and this one is here and I have a onion in the middle in the back I'm gonna put a new onion back there cuz oh, these are about spent really I got all my use out of them these are those are store onions and you know they grow back about three times and then man that's it and that's a wrap now, if you grow your own onion from seeds, you can get regrows from them repeatedly. You heard it from me, you're welcome. This is my cucumber planter and cucumbers realize that it is not their season, but next week will be a different story. I mean, my purple collards are being great. You can see new leaves already started on them. Three, one, Two. Yeah, so you can see. One, two, and three. Green beans. Oh yeah. Look at her. She opened up. Nice. Onions down here. Uh, other spent grocer onions. This is clearly not the season for peppers. So I'm surprised that the yellow ones even came up, but nothing else did, but that's okay. I'm not gonna continue to replant them because I know what's up. Ain't no need in pretending I don't. Uh, there's a money tree recovering beautifully since I stopped doing anything to it because I, over what? Oh, see, that's. Oh, I was supposed to be getting mad at you. Mommy was supposed to be getting mad. I was supposed to be mad. So this is money tree looking beautiful. Now that I have left it alone, it was dropping and yellowing leaves when I overwatered and or overfed it. I don't remember which it is, but either one, I left it alone and let it do what it do. And this is what has become of it, luscious. Uh, I brought one of the purple sprouting broccoli inside. It was growing so fast and furious. I wanted to see what I could do with it indoors. And honey, I'm gonna repot it in a little bit, girl. Because even if with this thing, even if it's lanky, it seems like it grows such big, thick leaves like like many brassicas that uh, it could stand to be more tender and the indoor growth might do just that. Uh, I have a couple of hostas I decided to bring them inside because if they do great outdoors and are maintenance free, why wouldn't they be amazing inside? So you know how we do. I'm trying it. And then I also have uh, red vein sorrel. I really like for my indoor plants to also be edible, just in case, because I live in America. I live under American law, and you just never know. So these are edible leaves, although um, these are primarily only delicious as young sprouts. 
except this one though. This one gonna be good. this one gonna be good at all times. But you know, if this works out, this is gonna make me go ahead and grow uh, collard greens inside, child. If I gotta be the first one, I'll be that. Because look, even if I get collard half the size that some of y'all get, if I'm constantly getting indoor yields, then and bitch, I still win. <laughs> I win. Cause I see a lot of y'all that felt like y'all was all prepared and went into, and I encourage you, don't you do it. Don't you do it. No, no, don't. So, oh, this is a bok choy. I can tell that's really not going to do a, a thing called the thing. Oh, here's the other one coming up. They might do something. I just doubt it. I should try my, uh, my new my new heat tolerant spinach right i'm gonna check it out first though because they could be lying y'all you know they'd be lying to us one of my verbena cuttings i took it and brought it in here and look what it did it's trying to flower girl chill but uh i'm not worried about it i know how to propagate it what did i tell you what did i tell you He acting like he wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't even thinking about this. <laughs> I don't know why you. Well, that's the last plant. That's the last plant you should be messing with. Now let's see. Onions. Collard dramatic that's what I thought. Onions. 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 Ginseng ficus doing a lot better. It is its season. It knows it's spring, and it is springing. It is springing in the spring. I'll probably. Uh, water that weekly and feed it every other week now now that i see what it wants what is ginseng ficus is it ginseng is that what ginseng looks like when grown naturally i don't know i'm curious because it makes me curious makes me wonder if this is edible or medicinal in any kind of way to be continued out here i need to stop and or move the water let's go see which that's the uh that's Cher going to town like she does i'm not mad it's her season and we are ready to eat oh yeah, yeah who you at? I, was gonna shoot. I thought it was crusty and broke off oh i thought the whole thing was rusted off and <laughs> I could have opened the valve and skied it. You could open the valve and skied it. Damn, I missed out. It didn't open up. It was pretty hard. To I know. That's so why I need you. See? Looking for me. You to prove what? That I was right? No, I was going to show you how you could have used it. That's all. Do you still try to dig this up sometimes or do you not bother? Okay. I don't bother if, you, if I asked you to, would you be able to dig up a bulb or two? Of this? Uh huh. Okay. I don't need to, but, but uh, if my girl asked me to, I want to. I was so surprised and touched when I got off of, um, when I got off of IG probation and went back on. I thought that she had left me a life day message. GZ Locks, the one that went to my Patreon <laughs> from in, from Instagram. I think I only even ever mentioned that once. Her. Yeah. I know. Ain't it crazy? Uh, I think he's something. Mm -hmm. I wanted to trim this a little bit, but he already did. He did a good job. I might leave it. Oh, so y'all can see what I'm watering. I thought I saw some, uh, I thought I saw oregano popping back up. Y'all, I know I saw oregano popping back up because I came out and got some and cooked with it. What the hell? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, here's the purple sprouting broccoli. Ready to be great. It's just like, girl, just keep me watered. I got you. 
Okay, might not even need to stake it. Oh, mister just fixed that. The bottom was all kind of rusted and coming apart because when they made the house, they threw shit together. So he did that and got it painted. Yeah, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm just gonna water this purple sprout and broccoli and maybe make me a new herb bed to transplant up here and moringa water those too. Hey, sir. How you doing? How that baby? You hungry? You want some food? That baby wants some food. He eating the last kernels to show me that he, he ready for some more food. I'm not even kidding. So this means refill my bowl and put and put ice in the wa bottled water when you when you get it together. So I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> Okay, again, so the money tree doing beautifully. I hope it is representing actual money. Uh, this, if this does well, this will inspire me to grow a collard inside, y'all. <laughs> IDC, IDC. If I bitch, if I can harvest motherfucking collard greens from off of my fucking living room then coffee table bitch if you thought if you if you think i won't if i can you you got me picked up but yeah this is hosta on the ends and the red vein soil in the middle oh edible bitch and my purple this is my purple sprout and broccoli when my one of those uh, collars come in, I'm bringing them. I'm bringing it in. I might bring two in. I might bring two in, girl. This needs more water. Ginseng ficus. Because it benefits so much. Look at this. New growth. On all the tips. New growth. On all the tips. All of them. So I'd appreciated that water. I put a little unicorn on here. Yeah. Don't judge me. Mister don't take care of these things like he's supposed to. These are his. Fence, the ficus, ginseng ficus, and the money tree are his plants. So, oh, but look what I did. Look at the little decorations I put on there. They're pretty. I just got some little 3D stick to decor from the dollar store. <laughs> The damn dollar store. I was gonna get a border, some border tape, but then you know I might have to wash the whole pot out. And I want that. I want that versatility. But yeah, Jensen Ficus is doing well. We we coming out there. Okay. Here we come. It's been raining, so spider man. Oh look what Mister did, y'all. I'm so surprised and impressed, by the way. This was going to be thrown away. And I am so surprised, both surprised and impressed that he thought to bring it out here for me, for my use. Oh, I love him so much. And y'all know how excited that made me, right? Well, my concern is the gateway to walk into here. I don't want, I know there are going to be spider webs joining these two spots. So that's going to be a problem for me. But I love how nice. Oh, what the hell? Y'all, this bean grew outside of this thing. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell am I looking at? What happened here? These are looking fantastic. These are my these are my purple tree collards. Do you hear me? I don't know if it likes my conditions, area, or soil, but they are viable. Look at those two little collards on there already. And some people have these things called tree kales. I don't know if I believe there's such a thing. I believe they're all tree collards. Just leave it to certain people to want to just thrust a gentrified 
leaf into the healing herbalist mix. Oh, oh, they gotta, oh, they, they gotta run everything. Minding all the business that's not theirs. Anyway, the okra are popping. It's time for the okra to pop. These are my big kahuna seeds. I'm just stuck over here, uh, y'all. Yeah. Oh, this is, a, this is something else that he got for me. So I'm going to use these to propagate my tree cuttings for people who are purchasing them. So, oh, they are being great. They want to be great and they are being great. And so be it. So be it. So these are big kahunas. My okra is back here. You don't care about that. That's too small. I have learned, if I have learned nothing else, I learned in these garden videos, y'all don't care about a little container of dirt. Now, if I'm to explaining the process to you, that's one thing, you know, a transplanting or seeding or whatever. But, you know, I noticed a lot of videos are a lot longer than they need to be when you're just showing somebody how to do some simple shit. I hope this didn't get fucked with. This looked like it might have got fucked with. And if it did, that's okay. I have another replacement. I hope it didn't know. Because I'm going to be mad. I ain't going to do shit about it. But I'm going to be mad. See? That's what that looks like. I don't know why. But these others look like this. That looks like that. Got my Roselle over there. My Sorrel. You can't see it because it's it's in the middle of that caved in uh, that caved in wood mulch. What is in there? The peppers refuse to come up. I'm talking about refuse. I hope that is doggone cilantro because I'm so sick and tired of waiting. These are Moringa that have not popped up. I'm just going to replant them all because I know if, when I plant them all out here now, they are going to pop up within a matter of days, like two to three days they will pop up. So I'm going to replant them because it's time for them to be great. I'll show you in the front. Oh, this is the uh, Jamaican cherry. I'm sure she's glad to see some uh, natural rain. These extended branches look really bad. I kind of feel like I need to just cut them all off up down to here. Cut that one off too. And maybe I will eventually, but <clears throat> anyway, it's a resilient tree and it is going to town here at the bottom. Now, this is Kimberly. Hey, oh, this is my cucumber bed. But there are there any cucumbers to be climbing? No. Hater. Crimbley is living large. She's happy. She's not going to be too tall, which I love. I'm here for it. I did plant her deep, though, in order to control said height. And it looks like that's going to work out for me. I certainly hope so. I wanted to do the same for Sunny, um, but she's flowering already. She's got some flowers down there. I'm not mad at it. These are some long fucking fan leaves, just like as was the case for Cher. Yeah, I'm just gonna grow her and take her, take the seeds from her first fruits, and maybe call it a day because the uh black cherry tomato is my is gonna be my ish but if i can contain cranberry and hopefully i can yeah we'll see uh i think that god is just does not fuck with trying to grow peppers until late that's how i feel about it i feel like where is that pepper? There it is. I'm going to go ahead, since I'm out here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the... Uh, uh, oh, boy. Boy, if my knees don't ache. Mm, yeah, there's the sorrel. Two, three of these onions are really uh, setting it off down here. 
I'm not angry about that. This must be the time of year for on I mean, this must be the season for those unsaid onions as well. I need to plant some peppermint. I'm going to go ahead and plant some by seed for seed. Oh, anyway, this is Sunny. Like I said, she has begun to flower already. You can see those. And she is nice and sturdy. I'm here for it. I think I might... Uh, take it upon myself to feed these ladies again in another two weeks oh, oh shit it was a hawk that bitch was low too uh, indeed, so for some reason my neighbors like chihuahuas so good luck uh, oh, this is the verbena. I hope nothing came. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think something is. Something is fucking with these. So, I'm going to have to get a little bottle or can or something to protect them. It looks like. Okay, I see. I'm distracted because I see there are some measures that I'm going to have to take. Just chill. Let's just chill. Oh, there's Viola. In her summer centerpiece. Take out all these weeds. Because I have no place for you. You, you gotta get out. And you gotta get out. And you gotta get out. And y'all gotta get out. This bitch flowered. You tried it. Tried it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I hate when they come out uh, hollering like that. It's like, what the fuck? Like on full charge mode. I ain't even do nothing to you yet. I'm going to, mind you, but I haven't. Although, to be fair, I have every intention of fucking them up. As I was saying, I got distracted because this bok choy is flowering, of course, because it's been a little on the hot side. The Swiss Shard is doing great, of course, because it doesn't matter how the weather's doing for that. Bunch of olives here, and we'll have a bunch of olives here, because it's doing what it does. Uh, this is a pretty color. Uh -uh, don't do it. Don't do me. Don't do me. Don't do it. Just don't altogether. This is a pretty colored. Uh, Probably a tree, a maple or something. Yeah, I see nothing doing anything here, so. Yeah. And there's Cher. She doesn't need much, and she's in a whole new compost bed. She finna thrive, trust me on it. There's the purple sprouting broccoli. There's super sly foxes I can eat for the leaves as well. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, y'all. Let me tell you why I don't believe it. Because the first time somebody told me, you can eat broccoli like collard greens. Broccoli leaves like collard greens. They're just the same. Well, they were not the same. Not only were they not the same, I expected them to at least be sweet like broccoli. Fresh broccoli. And they were not even so much as sweet, y'all. So I hope they at the very least got a sweet broccoli taste. Here are my tree collards, y'all. Over here being great in the ground. One here. One there. Being great in the ground. This one is doing nothing. But that's the only one that's not doing anything. That's the only one. <laughs> and so I figured it must not be meant for me to grow that back there. Up against that thing like that back there. I must be meant to grow something else over there. I'm gonna let goddess I'm gonna let goddess guide me you know there's a big hole I left when I pulled up the weed 
weeds that came up easily because this is a, again a whole freshly newly composted bed the things are gonna love it love it tell you right now kind of got lost out here it's been a half hour I was supposed to come out real quick <laughs> so much for that I'm gonna put the tomatoes down there So I have my frost blanket here, but I'm not going to use it just yet. I'm not using it for frost. I'm using it to potentially to potentially protect my plants until they get a certain size because as you will see, a couple of my peas have been attacked. I think sometimes the birds mistake them for worms and they get them when they're very young and they're I'll show you on another one this one kind of got away okay I hope it they don't come for it later same here these are our purple tree collars that I'm prepping to this is melon yellow meat this is this red bone I think I'm gonna go with on this red bone because she's because the red bone watermelon is red but ironically red bones are yellow black people know what I'm talking about <laughs> but that's red bone right there um, I have some things just now popping up I have assessed that this is just not the season for peppers and peppers just germinate late in the season they don't do it doesn't matter how early you germinate your pepper seeds they're going to start when they start and that is going to be now damn near June <laughs> because it's, it's May 27. We got three more days of June. And uh, uh, Memorial Day, Memorial Weekend, Memorial Day Weekend, 2022. And uh, yeah, we looking at mostly soil in the garden. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, more uh, purple collards. Those things are viable as fuck. So if you get them from me, congratulations. <laughs> God dog. See that's why I don't that's why I don't see you don't you don't you don't act right. No, this is good. 